tragic accident changed the course of his life forever. For most, it would have begun a life of discontent and wallowing around in self-misery. For Jonathan Nadeau, it kickstarted a new chapter of inspiration and appreciation. Even though he lost his sight permanently, he gained a passion to put creativity first in all areas of his life. And now, he wants to encourage you to do the same. There are times when you'll be faced with a choice. Be crushed by the weight of the situation or use the fresh start to rebound bigger, better, and more inspired than ever before. This is Tornado. Stories of those who refuse to choose defeat and instead chose to embrace the storm. Here's your host, Jonathan Nadeau. and salutations welcome to embrace your storm my name is jonathan nato and as always we've got an awesome episode for you today we have on three guests but before we get to that don't forget tornado music and film festival is coming up august 27th and it's going to start at noon you don't want to miss this because this film's going to be there and also going on is well you know i guess i don't want to tell everyone every, everything that's going on you're going to want to come to this event August 27th. Don't miss it. There's going to be links in the show notes and everything. So today we have on Julia, Maria, and Jenna. Whew, I got them all. And they did a movie called Mesmerize. And this is an awesome film we're going to get to in a second. So ladies, thanks for coming on today. Thank you for having us. Uh, it's my pleasure. Um, I don't know who wants to go first, but before we get into Mesmerize, I... I love that all you guys are in school right now doing film. So tell the audience kind of what made you want to get to where you are at this point, why you chose kind of this path and, and all that. Cause part of this interview is to get people excited to get off their rear end and do something like you guys are doing. So. <laughs> right. Well, Maria and I actually just graduated in May um, so this film was actually our senior film for school, which was very exciting. And now we're hopefully both moving on to um, bigger and better things. Um, but it's just, I think we were both, we were all sort of pushed to film school just because we've always sort of had that passion for film. Um, I, I can, I mean, I can speak for that for myself. Movies have always been, and been my passion. Um, and I'm sure that my fellow crew members feel a similar way and this is julia right just so the audience knows yes it is there you go yes mine is the same thing i'm still i have my my last year of school left um so i'm going <laughs> to my senior year um but for me i've always loved creating anything whether that be any type of art painting drawing Ooh. um making little movies with my family and my friends or um, playing instruments I've always had that kind of mind and then it wasn't until I started going throughout high school where I realized I like telling the story aspect of film and having something that has emotion to it and tells a story that's what I've always liked about film and then I realized that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life <laughs> so that's very cool and that's in your Jenna yes so the audience knows perfect and and then Maria how about you yeah I definitely agree I've always had um, a passion growing up for film and um, I discovered specifically documentary I I loved chasing a story and seeing how that plays out so um, that's kind of what I like to focus on now but I've always had that passion is there anything about kind of the film um, not vertical medium that you guys like in particular like it well, like what is it kind of over film that really drew you to it as opposed to maybe like music or art or whatever like is there anything in particular that really drew you to films that you guys I think you could say a lot more in a film um and there's a lot of different ways to go about it that um allows for more creativity in my opinion mm. um, so that's personally why I am drawn to that but okay how about you Julia or Jenna how about you guys I mean I, I would say for for me um it's more so just about the fact that like sort of Jenna said, I've always had a creative itch, a creative outlet. 
And I mm. like the fact that film allows creativity to be part of our real world. You know, mm. you don't need to mm. come up with your own world or draw it with your own hands. Like you can just that's put true. it together, like building a Lego set or something and then film yeah. it. So that's something that's always had me specifically interested in film. Okay, that's cool. Jenna, uh, we, wait, you didn't go yet, did you, Jenna? No. Okay. Uh, I think that the same thing that Maria was saying and Julia was saying, it's like in film, you can make something that people can watch over and over and over again, number one. And it also, it doesn't have a time limit. It could be a minute and you can have the same story that you tell in a minute and an hour. And mm. I feel like that's super unique, but also like the emotion that comes out of those short films, long films, whatever that is, I really, like, I enjoy that part. That's very cool. So now mesmerize, who, do you guys want to, who, who wants to kind of give the synopsis of this or whatever? And not, not necessarily going to how, I don't want to go into how you got to record this yet, but I just go into the synopsis of the actual film itself. Yeah, so Mesmerized is this sort of a short form documentary about the world's oldest magi magic shop, which is located in Barcelona, Spain. It's called El Rey de la Magia. And the film sort of just goes into... Um, discussing the shop's history, discussing where the shop's going, how it's been impacted in modern times. And you sit down with the owner of the shop today and you learn just all about magic. Magic is art, the history of magic um, mm. and how that, um, yeah, how that, all of that incorporates into today. Yeah, and, and I'm going to interject this because before the interview, I was pointing out my organizational skills are lacking <laughs> and I was like hey yeah what film are you guys tied to again and they're like oh it's mesmerized I'm like okay I, I remember that one right and and then I'm like so what was it about again and the second they started telling me I was like oh my god that's an awesome film like I didn't I didn't put two and two together for, so the, for the audience listening this is an awesome film so you know th there's more than one reason why it's uh, going to be showing at the event but it, it was it's such a great film and it's done so well like if you could tell the audience what, like, this is even more fascinating, me personally, tell the audience what even kind of got you to, to this particular thing to make this film. Like, this is, this is what I find even more fascinating. Um, well, it started off is that we all got into this one class, um, one film class that was an abroad documentary class. So for our spring break, we got to go abroad to Barcelona, which we knew that's where we were going to end up going. And so our teacher basically said, here's your groups, here's where you're going, go find where you want, what you want to do your film on. And <laughs> so we all sat down together and we were searching through a million different websites, trying to find something that we could tell a story on that was unique to Barcelona. And Julia ended up finding the world's oldest magic shop, which was right by where we were going to be. And we ended up, I ended up uh, direct messaging the shop on Instagram and talking to the owner and he was so sweet and so willing to work with us and have us make a film on them um and that's how we got into the magic that's shop. so cool uh, they, i mean it, it must have been a blast kind of being like you know you're dropped off in this country it's like hey here's some gear or whatever go make a movie like that's that's cool like i don't know it's, it's kind of a it's a neat position to be in where you're it's like a forced creative thing like find something to make I know it's cool I, I love that idea and I didn't know schools like did that I, I think that's awesome like you know it, flying out to another country and having you I don't know it's really it's cool in a lot of ways actually it was definitely an experience I know for myself and I'm pretty sure most of our group that we traveled with was our first time out of the country at least by ourselves if not right right it must have been i don't know it must have been pretty awesome like when did you do that this year yeah L like 2022 march. like early 2022 mm -hmm. in march okay yeah okay yeah because i was gonna say it must, have, it must have been hard to fly if it was like the year before or something like i don't know if the school was doing programs like that or not but mm -hmm. um so what, what did you guys think of barcelona then when you land in like you did you have any kind of uh culture shock or were you like whoa okay we're not in kansas anymore like <laughs> was it was totally different to you guys for me i was just so excited to be in another place and get to like learn about the culture and learn about everything else that we got to see and travel with everyone i was a lot more just excited to, to see everything yeah um, I, 
Yeah, the city is so interesting and it's just like bursting with history everywhere, which you don't really get Mm. in the States, of course. And we were actually lucky enough to learn about that history from people who actually knew what they were talking about. Like part of the class was we got to like go on tours of the city and like see museums and things. So that was like, yeah, extra special. Yeah, definitely. uh, I've only been out of the country once, but it definitely opens your eyes when you get out of the United States once and kind of visit somewhere else. I don't know. It's it's everyone definitely needs to get out of the country once just to it opens your eyes in a new way you know oh yeah i definitely agree with that yeah it was definitely a good place to start for the people that hadn't gone out for at least that was like for me yeah no i heard it's i heard that city is wonderful like it's it's really just gorgeous people are nice you know i I've, i've heard it's great to go there so um now do you guys have any other plans past uh you know i I think school's over for you, right, Julia? You were a senior this year? Yeah. Maria and I both graduated um, in May. Okay. So for myself personally, I've just sort of been looking for work right now in in nonfiction filmmaking. I'm trying to work on getting another documentary going sort of like here in Pittsburgh, but it's loose right now, the idea. I don't really want to talk too much about it. Um, no but problem. yeah, other than that, I'm just sort of looking for film work in, in my local area right now, doing some okay. freelance. Yeah, cool. and okay. I'm, I'm also um, thinking about doing more documentary and um, Barcelona was just kind of the start for me. I want to keep doing travel filmmaking. Mm. So mm. That, that's definitely my passion right now. Jenna? I still have uh, my last year left at school. So All right. I'm going right. to ride more year. that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got you got one more year before life kicks in. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll be able to make a, another film or two while I'm in school with, you know. Oh, would you be in that class again where they travel again or? I could would, be. Yeah, that's, oh, that's cool. Spring. So I'm going to okay. see where, where they end up going and how that plays out. And I might I might just do that again, which I'm excited for. Was that um, part of like when you guys went on that trip, did you have to pay for anything? Was that part of your class? Was everything paid for? We had to like, pay for a, like a portion of it. Um, OK, like I'm pretty sure it was just like the part of like the flight, I think. OK, OK. Maybe girls remember. I don't remember what it was. It was like a definitely a reduced fee for how long yeah yeah that's what i would hope so (laughs) um yeah and it wasn't it was like a good offer to not pass up and then exactly no i hear that you know whatever we all went on shopping trips a lot (laughs) there you go (laughs) (laughs) no that must have been cool too honestly seeing like barcelonian clothes you know what i'm saying like it's like clothes you weren't going to be able to buy anywhere else you know? Yeah, we went to this vintage store while we were there, and I got this like super cool pair of pants. And every time I wear them, I'm like, I bought these in Barcelona. You right? Know? <laughs> do, are, do people say, "Hey, those are cool pants. Where'd you get those?" Like, I actually have gotten a lot of comments yeah, on them. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and then then you can be like Barcelona, and like, wow, she's fancy. <laughs> but no, that's awesome. I, I I love that you guys are you know young and doing this and showing that uh if you uh are motivated enough you can get some really cool stuff done and that's the point of this podcast so i hope you guys are listening and heard what these three young ladies have done and what they produced and what they plan on doing so um guys i again i love this film and it's i even knowing the story though just makes it like that much more cooler like you didn't even plan on reaching out to this guy and you landed in a country and I mean, think about this. How cool is that? You land in a country and you literally find the oldest magic shop in the world or whatever. Like, how crazy is that? You know, like, (laughs) it's so cool. But uh, again, if if you guys are working on anything, you want to give out any short plugs or anything, do you have websites or social media that you want to give out? If you want to, you know, if you're looking for jobs and stuff, put it out there. Yeah, Um, mine, it would just be uh, Maria Morris Media. So if you Maria search that, media. Yeah. And if you guys give me links, I'll put everything in the show notes too or whatever. So that way I can link to all your stuff too. So okay. Um my film account is Gen Z Film Co. And that's where I've been posting a lot of what we've been doing with the mesmerized film and then future projects. Cool. So do you guys plan on working together a lot still? Hopefully like we do get future? to make another film together eventually. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. Very cool. How about you, Julie? I don't think you went. 
Yeah, yeah website, my Instagram is just day eight, J A dot parks. Um, okay. And then, yeah, on there, you can find like a link to my portfolio website and stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for the submission because without your film, there'd be no tornado film festival. Are you guys going to try and come? Yes. Cool. Cause when we're in Connecticut, so we're not too far from you. So if you guys can make it, that'd be awesome. There's going to be a lot, a, a lot of filmmakers that say, claim they're coming. It's going to be interesting. So, you know, we'll see what happens, but it'll, it'll be great to see you guys there. So, if you guys come to Tornado, watch Memorize, might run to these three. There you go. <laughs> um, awesome. Any, anything else? Any last words? Just thank you for having us on the podcast and the film festival and talking to us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for coming on, guys. And thanks for all the work that you're doing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank no, you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone, don't forget to embrace your Tornado with Jonathan Nadeau. If you haven't yet, please subscribe now so you're first to hear new episodes with more stories of inspiration about the highs and lows of life and how embracing the storm is so much more fulfilling of a life than being crushed by the weight of the world. And until then, we hope you're inspired to do something, whether it's creating, participating, or learning, whatever leads you to your personal passion.